Chapter 17, Monday, December 2nd, 1985. Ball, screams Theo, assistant coach of the Hawkins Tigers junior varsity team. A basketball whizzes through the air toward a freshman, one of only three trying out for the team. He flinches as it arrives, anticipating the hit, but pushing his arms forward anyway. The ball lands in his hands and he grips. Not a bad catch either. But that first flinch is a deal breaker, and it turns out Mr. Theo hates flinches more than anything. You're out, screams Mr. Theo, closing in on the freshman. There's no place for fear on this team. You hear me? No place. The boy who threw the ball, a junior from the varsity, subs roster snickers. His boys who've come by to watch and be overall jackasses laugh as well. JV tryouts are off to a not so great start. I completely forget that PE is the first period of the week. Apparently some random study apparently some random study convinced the school board that increasing heart rate before school helps with brain oxygen and information retention. What the person in charge of that study did not account for, of course, is the funk that comes from not being able to shower before going to class. Not only is the experience uncomfortable, but it's a death sentence for all noses for the rest of the day. Also, some people, like me, get nervous if we don't get enough prep time before physical activities. My hands are shaking. They shouldn't be, because I already gave myself a pep talk, repeating what Jay said, just enjoy yourself. But it's hard to do that with all the screaming going on. Mr. Theo blows on his whistle. He's a lanky man in a gray t-shirt and shorts that ride up his thighs, much younger than most teachers and the head coach, but no less strict. The veins on his neck pop, so he always looks like he's about to fight someone. Except he doesn't look scary at all, no matter how hard he tries. He looks like a nice man who's stressed. You, Mr. Theo says, pointing to the freshman beside me, you're next. This new dude is taller than me, and the set of his um, freckled face tells me he might be someone who knows what he's doing. Also, his shoes. He's not wearing, or, wearing ordinary gym shoes like I am, but proper basketball sneakers, the kind I've seen the pros wear on, on the NBA tapes. And they're scuffed too, so they've definitely been played in. He aligns his body in preparation, feet forward, elbows angled. This kid is confident, like this is, a, this is second nature. Ball, Mr. Theo says. The junior thumps the ball at, at the freshman. The boy catches it hard and firm. Again, Mr. says Mr. Theo. The ball is returned and the junior fizzes, fizzes another bullet pass. The freshman catches it again. Good, says Mr. Theo. Now let me see your dribbling and scoring form. The freckled boy bounces the ball and glides forward, his movement smooth and confident. It's so obvious he's been playing for a while that, he, that even the upperclassmen don't laugh. But instead, watch and trap. This is clearly someone who's uh, competing for space on that varsity roster. The boy steps forward, lifts one foot, lifts, lifts off one foot, taps the ball against the board, net. All right. Now let me see you shoot a two-pointer, says Mr. Theo. The boy retrieves the ball, shoots from the inside, the D, and scores. Mr. Theo asks him for a three-pointer from outside of the D. I can hear a collective draw of sharp breath from the upperclassmen, but the freshman boy doesn't flinch. He steps outside the D, bounces, takes the shot, misses. The upperclassmen holler, but the freshman ret retrieves the ball, tries again, and this time, he scores. Finally, Mr. Theo asks him for a couple of free throws, which he nets easily. All right, says Mr. Theo. Seems you know what you're doing, young man. What's your name? Lee Garraway, says the freckled boy. You're in, Garraway, says Mr. Theo. Practice is the same time next week. Miss the first day and you're out. Then he turns toward me. Next. I clench my fist as I step up to the center circle. Despite all the, all the practice sessions and NBA tapes, there's no way I'm anything close um, to what um, Garraway has demonstrated here. Ball, 
screams Mr. Theo. I swallow, embrace myself. The ball zooms towards me. I brace, prepare my arms, keep my feet firm as Jay taught me. It's an easy catch. Again, says Mr. Theo. I toss the ball back to the junior, but the pass is short. The ball bounces, then rolls toward him. The boys in the bleachers snicker. That's how you pass, he insults. He consults the, the sign-up sheet. Sinclair? No, sir. Better keep that kind of pass out of my court. Ball! The ball comes at me. First, the ball comes at me, fast and without warning. Before I have time to think about positioning or steadying myself, it whacks me in the shoulder. I find myself one knee down on the court, massaging my shoulder. The laughter of the upperclassman rings my ear. No aloofness in my court, young man, says Mr. Theo. Get up! I rise gingerly. I don't hear Mr. Theo's third cry for ball. I know it's coming, so I, I, I brace and plant my feet. It's a fast pass, but I catch it quite well. Now let me see you dribble and score, says Mr. Theo. I do my best. I'm not dribbling. I'm not sure dribbling is my strong suit. I find I'm much better at, at taking the ball off Jay, guarding, anticipating, lunging at the right moment. But dribbling with no opponent is easy. So I move just enough to get to the to get to the paint and toss a jump shot into the net. All right, give me a two and a three pointer, says Mr. Theo. The two pointer is easy. This is pretty much what a lot of my shooting practice with Jay was, as well as shooting practice with the new hoop Dad installed in the driveway. My three pointer is a complete failure. I get five tries and I score none. The upperclassman holler. Mr. Theo shakes his head. At least tell me you're better at free throws. He points me towards the free throw, free throw line. He points me toward the free throw line. Say that five times fast. I take the ball and shoot another five times. Two and three misses. One of them goes straight to the board and doesn't even hit the rim at all. Why did you sign up for this? Mr. Theo says, shaking his head as I pant, sweat dripping down my forehead. He writes a few notes on the clipboard, shakes his head some more, and says, Lucas, is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll have to think about. I, I'll have to think on this one. Feeder team might be short, but so help me God, I'd rather be short than burdened with stupid. He waves his hand. Off you go. I drag my bag and shuttle out of the gym. It takes me a moment to realize I can't return to class like this, but I also can't use the changing rooms and showers since that's what the team uses. So instead, I find myself in a bathroom stall, swapping the sweaty shirt for a hoodie and trying not to cry. <sighs> Part two. The rest of the school day is a wreck. As, I, as predicted, everyone smells like wet socks. I can't wait until it's lunch period to jump out of, the, out of, out of class and breathe. But well, once the bell rings and I'm out of there, the hallway is no better. It's just more post. It's more. It's just more post PE people. I zigzag through them, trying to get to my next class, and stick my head out of out a window. There are people crowded around the notice board, which is strange because at this time of year, most extracurricular groups have already announced their signups list. Except, oh shit. I run down the hall to the board. I expected Mr. Theo to take a, a day or two to deciding on an additional on, on additions to the JV squad, not a few hours. Sure enough, the notice is titled Hawkins Tigers final roster for 85-86 basketball season. At the top are the five starters, Jason, Patrick, Andy, Charlie, Noah. Below that subs, I spot Jermaine DeMario in there. Below those, on a fresh sheet, is written Junior Varsity roster, roster. It lists all the sophomores who didn't make it onto the first team team subs last year. But below that, two new names have been added. Lee Garraway and Lucas Sinclair. I pump a fist in silent celebration. I got in! I got in! The tall, freckled Garraway boy walks by the board with some friends. He doesn't stop by to look to see if his name's up, which is fair because Mr. Theo, Theo already told him he's in. But then he clocks me looking at the board and pumping my fist and does the math. I give him a thumbs up to say, hey, we made it. But he just looks at me for a long time. 
then shakes his head, turning to his friends. Coach Theo thinks every black person who can hold a ball is Magic Johnson, Lee says, even when you're absolute shit. It's a whisper with his back to me, but I hear it clear as day. Their laughter rings in my ears as they walk away. Monsters, Max voices from the cinema, even when they they don't like monsters. I watch Lee and his friends go. Part of me wants to walk up to him and say, hey, say that to my face. But the other part of me is thinking, is he right? Jason did say the same thing. Do they all assume I'm only trying out for the team because I'm black? Because I'm supposed to? Then I turn to question then, then I turn the question to myself. Did I do this because they expect me to? Hmm. Did I do this because they expect me to? I think back to the warm fuzzies I get during training with Jay and decide, no, basketball is fun. I want to play it because it gives me room to, to be something different. I like being something different. The only question I'm left with is the same one I asked on that first day. The, one, the only one I still can't answer. But did I only get in because I'm black? I'm not so sure I even want to know the answer. At least I get something good out of who I am. Then on its own is enough. So what do you think? Why did he get on the team? You know, was it all of his practicing that paid off? Was it his skill? Was it his skin color? What was it? What do you, what do you think? You, could, might, you might write that down in the comments. Click on the link and I'll read chapter 17 next. Thank you so much. Give me a like. I would appreciate it. It's really late to be asking that question. But uh, please give me a like. I would appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe if you found value to this. Thank you so much.